All right, now you're saying this green room is better than other green rooms? Um, this is. green room is, is one of the top 10 or 20 <laughs> or 30. When you're looking through those luxury magazines, you know, you like the top 10 vacation areas, I think this is will come in there somewhere. Oh, this this just room, should we list it off? We've got a couch. Okay. Necessity. we got a coffee table. Well, that that would seem par for the course. But you... Here comes the good part. Okay. Wii, Xbox, amplifiers, guitars. They got no, the water works. cooler. They got. <laughs> we got somebody. Publicist. What are your your publicist is like in the witness protection program? Look at her just dive down. She, she, she actually is. is. She um, actually is. She's she's please cut that out of the out of the she's film. Trying to, you just blur her out. That's okay. She doesn't like to be. Well, seen. Well, pixelate her. <laughs> Pixelator. All right, so here's the th what what are the plans for the Kevin Bachelor party? Am I involved? Because I've thrown several. We um we're working out all the details right now. Um you know they're still planning their wedding, which is very exciting, and we're happy for them. And um, things are in the earlier stages, I guess, as he would tell you. But I think they're also gonna start with an A and end with awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. that, that's more like it. But it's gonna be good. We're excited. Probably some golf involved. Yeah. Maybe some some oh. poker. I don't know. We'll see. All right, what, yeah, I find uh, Texas Hold'em boring. What poker games do you like? Ooh. We like Texas Hold'em. Really? Texas Hold'em. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Monopoly. Monopoly. Yahtzee, I didn't see that here. No, we played no this Yahtzee. other game yesterday. Catch I can't remember the name, but you have to do like make signals and slap your people's hands. I forget the name, too. It, but nope. it was intense. It, but, Jordan, you know, Jordan Sparks taught them. She she's, loves that game. Yeah, it's and really we, we game. have to like, you have to smack your chest if you see the queen, and you have to salute if it's a king. And we kept smacking ourselves in the head because we wanted to be first, and it was, it was, it was not, not good. A uh, big, big show at uh, Staples Friday night, yes. and then three nights here, you know, sold Friday, out. Saturday, Sunday, I think. So. And, and here's the thing, you've, you've had this wonderful tour literally all over the world a bunch of times, I think. So, you know, and, is there anything distinct about playing in L.A.? Definitely. I think for us, you know, this is a second home to us now, and we love playing in L.A. because there's so many people that come out, and you never know what celebrities are going to be there. For us, we get excited. Last time we played here, we saw, like, what, what, who, who do we see from Full House? Oh, Aunt oh. Becky. Aunt Becky was here. That's just what she goes, but that's what we're going to go by. And she was like in front row, and we were really excited. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's awesome. But just as far as L.A. goes and the shows, I think you know playing at the Staples Center is such an honor. To be able to do three sold out night nights is amazing, and then Teen Choice Awards as well. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. So it is a very busy weekend. We also have a softball game for our team, the Road Dogs. Uh, we're 4-4 four and four right now, about 500 for the season, yeah. and uh, things are going well, but it's going to be a fun weekend. We're looking forward to it. All right, but I, I, I like the fact that you kept softball up there with everything else. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's as it's important probably the most, or more. Probably in, the most important. Yeah. And what positions does everybody play? Uh, I play shortstop. Right field. Center field. Center field never gets any balls. Short center, sorry. Short center. It's like, it's instead of, you know, on a typical, you know, softball, softball game, you put four in the outfield. But we feel like that's kind of unnecessary for our teams. We put three out and then a shorter, you know, because you get those, like, those line drives that like, just might go over the shortstop's head. Not like he wouldn't catch them. It's just right above that, you know? <laughs> And, uh, you're just so. saying I'm short. You're just saying I'm short. No, I'm just saying that... Short stop set. What are you I'm just saying to say? it's, it's just it, aerodynamically it. farther back. But it's fun. We have a good time. And, and uh, who do you guys play? Who do the Road Dogs play against? We play our, our tour sponsor, Marquee Jet and NetJet. Mm -hmm. And so they put together teams all over. Oh, and like pilots and flight attendants. Like, and people well, not, not, not really. The owners, so with the owners of them, the, like the jet cars. Players. So oh. like they like bring in... like We played... Um, we played. Uh, played some pro athletes. Who did we play? Uh, a lot, of, a lot of baseball players because they're they're you know in the off Hasselbeck. season right now. Matt Hasselbeck Matt played Hasselbeck. a game, you yeah. know, quarterback for the uh, Seattle Seahawks. Also, so do you think when you're playing the quarterback for the uh, Seattle, they're ringers? We, we hope to hurt oh, yeah. them. They, they are. <laughs> well, you <laughs> hope to, you hope to hurt what happens. So. But unfortunately, he lost. So. Yeah, he lost. Yeah. So. I now that you I remember, still that. think my favorite was when we played the AOL team and Nick took out the CEO of AOL as he was the catcher and he just you know took him out at home plate and. And, of course, he scored the run, but that was the best thing in front of the entire AOL it. crowd. It's no joke. It's pretty serious. <laughs> Here's the one thing that the Honor Society said to me today, which I actually thought was, was interesting and, 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 frankly, flattering to you guys. He, um, this was Mike. Mm -hmm. He goes, the Jonas Brothers, the cool thing about them, they don't even know they're the Jonas Brothers. Like, they, they don't get <laughs> Who are the no. Jonas Brothers? <laughs> I, I think for us it's about being the guys um, that we grew up being. You know, mm -hmm. um, We're a family. We have an amazing opportunity to live our dream and do what we love. And uh, we're just blessed to have the opportunity. That's a very nice thing to say. And, and you've actually said that in a very sincere way, and you've said it before. But now, you tell me, two, three, four years into the dream, mm -hmm. and, and literally everything you guys touch turns to gold. Oh. Is, there, is there anything, I don't know, not left to do? <laughs> if, I would only, if I would only freeze, <laughs> no go, no, no go. I'm just kidding. Is, um, is there a downside? Is there is there anything that hasn't 
turned out as you like oh my gosh I, would... um, I think for us you know there are things that have and I think we've just really learned to live with that expectation um, for us we live in every day as it's day you know we don't worry about tomorrow we don't worry about the next week and the months in advance we enjoy the moments that we're having every single day and is there time to just like enjoy the spoils of all this i mean in other words you know this is a great uh green room with the the we and everything else. but you know three young guys you could be out doing stuff uh you know what this is we're happy with just video games and and ping pong <laughs> we're, we're, we're we're really easy going guys <laughs> We don't need to always go out and do crazy stuff every day. Although we love to like do play, play sports every day and things like that, but we're pretty chill. We're hearing that crowd. They're warming up the crowd, and so it's an audience. In this case, about 400. Staples, it's going to be, you know, 18,400. Wow. Not not butterflies. You, what does it feel like though? Because you you hear that roar before you ever come out. It's, it's exciting. exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. That gets us hyped. Like usually, I, I don't. You know, I'm not a Red Bull fan. I don't drink Red Bull, but they. They they do, but I, that's my energy boost. Right when I see the audience and hear them for the first time, I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. The thing about this tour is that it's the same show every night, basically. So, um, new production, new everything, new stage. It's it's an amazing thing. We're so happy to have the production, but you get into a routine, and so um, it, it's it's that feeling of like you're ready to do it, and you get under the stage. And because we're in the round, we have to find an alternative way to get to the stage without anybody seeing us, and. It's always a, it's always a journey too, but it, it turns out great every night, and, and the fans have been amazing. And mm -hmm. to do these three shows in LA is going to be amazing. We're looking forward to it. And when do, I, I, and maybe there's not a specific point. Is there a point during the show, and maybe it's early on, maybe it's halfway through, where like yeah, this is going well. Yeah, th there's checkpoints throughout the show. We have um, we ha there's three checkpoints. It's right when Nick does his um, song for a little bit longer. Then when we come back down, to, we um, do a quick like take a second like breather for literally 20. Two seconds, I think it is, and then when right before Jordan Sparks comes on, I think those are our three checkpoints that like we can like look at each other and like you know talk to each other about how we're feeling about the show. It's pretty cool. That's great. And so there's this, then there's uh, somebody explained to you the schedule: Camp Rock recording, um, then you guys yeah. go shoot it, we, and then well, more touring or what? We've been recording most of the songs. I think we're almost a couple more songs or so to record, mm -hmm. and then we go to Camp Rock after this tour, and then we go overseas, and then uh, it's Christmas time already, so. I'll have a little break, and then um, then we're getting back into the, talking about the television show. So what, what, What's your feeling about the television show? I love it. It's awesome. We had a great time. Uh, Disney's awesome, and we can't wait to do a second season. And, and that, to me, was, was trying on new skills for you guys. Definitely. Um, you know, doing a TV show for the first time was fantastic. You know, we learned a lot about what TV, what goes into making a TV show, and, you know, actors, and being actors, and all those things. And I think we just really enjoyed it, and it was a great season in our life, and hope to continue that in some form later on, or continuing it now. We'll just we'll see. We're just excited right now about, the, of course, the tour. I, yeah. Look, well, we're hearing the, the, the guys warm Nice to see you guys. Yeah, Thanks thank very much. So pleasure. Much. Really, we'll thank you. Again, so yeah, absolutely. Time. No, yes. my pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you, L.A. Appreciate you guys coming out to all the shows. Love you. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot the most important thing. Oh, my God. How can I be so stupid? Who's our guest tomorrow morning? Who's on the show with us tomorrow morning? Oh, wow. Very important. Big deal. A little brother, Frankie Jonas. Yes. Frankie Jonas. I opened my day sheet. I read that, and I called him and was you like, are you ready? You're in for a treat. I, I promise you, if you start a comic book conversation, It'll ask about War Machine. He will have a 10-minute combo about and just... He's really, he's really educated. He knows what he's talking about. He went to Comic-Con. He did the whole thing. and he Ask him he, who he met. Just ask him who he met. He's like really, he knows what he's talking about. So All right, there's going to be a part where I'm sitting there with your brother, mm -hmm. yeah. and then I'll say, hey, I saw your older brothers yesterday, and then we'll run a bit of the tape. Mm -hmm. What should we run that will, like, you know, get him to cover his face or... Of what? You know, just so right now. Embarrass yeah, him? Yeah, you're, you're embarrass him or help no, him. You, 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 you could greet cool. him. He, oh, we'll greet him. We'll Go say ahead. hi. What's up, Frankie? Frank. How's it going, dude? Frankie. We love you, you, dude. Tell, why don't you tell LA a little bit about comic books? Yeah. Give them some info they need to know. Yes, absolutely. I like the way that you sort of addressed him. It was almost like a bit of discipline. No, it's just, you know, Frankie. That's, Hi. That's Frankie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'll see you after you're done with this, probably. <laughs> Don't embarrass the yeah. family. Yeah. No, he won't. Actually, we can count on him probably more than we can count on each other. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, we'll see about it. Thank you very much. <laughs>